the Tim Conway Jr. Show live on 97.1 Free FM. Joining us each and every Wednesday, Arsenio Hall. What's up, man? How you nice doing? Nice to see you, man. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, thank you very I, I much. Get to, you know what? My son was listening to the show, okay? Every now and then, I can't let him listen live. Right. But if there's a part that an eight-year-old can hear, sure. I'll go back and let him hear pieces so... He knows what I do on Wednesday night. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I talk about hump night at home, you know, and, <laughs> and and he'd like to know what that is. But isn't every night for you hump night? Well, yeah, but I just do the rest off the radio. You know, <laughs> I, I do I do hump night at the crib six <laughs> nights a week, and it's a whole different thing. But it, yeah, anyway, uh, I played some stuff for him, and he heard you say that you didn't have an iPod. That's exactly right. Yeah. So we went to the mall, and he talked me into getting you an iPod for Father's Day. I, now, I, now, I went through the whole thing about Tim will think that's gay. Uh, I went through the part about uh, about he, he really doesn't care. <laughs> Son, he's different. And also, he's not your dad. I know what p- people have told you, but Tim Jeez, Conway's not nice your dad. Here, so we don't buy him stuff. But, right. but, but I, I swear. Well, that's I get, very nice of him and you. Jesus, and, and you look know, at this, and man. And you know what? I'll I definitely have, use it. He wrote uh, what it Wild Wild West is the only song he put on it. Because you had said I love that, that was your track. So, wow, that is so sensational. That's, that's your iPod. Have your, your two-year-old show you how to work it. Thank you very much, man. And what is your son's first name? Arsenio Sharon Hall. I'll remember that. Arsenio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know. Oh, that's very uh, nice imagine, of you and Arsenio Jr. Look at that. Uh, imagine beautiful. that conference room, that, that think tank. You know, what are we going to name it? You know, is it Hallie? Well, <laughs> Hallie know, is good. I almost went with my daughter. Do- I have a daughter who's two and a half. I, I want to call her Timothy. Right? Hi, Mama. <laughs> See, she still and my can't wife's get like, over no, it. No, 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 no. She's not going to go through life uh, with uh, Timothy. But that's probably a cool name for a girl, Timothy. No? <sighs> Bad vibes? If, she, if she's going to do... Uh, something in this town, you know, like like this is beautiful. Thank you very much, Arsenio. That yeah. is an Arsenio Jr. That's great. I, I can tell you don't an have iPod one touch. because you haven't opened it. You just look at the John I, Lennon I photo know. on the front, <laughs> right? But I mean, I I literally I've never had an iPod, and my wife has one. Her sisters have them. I think my daughter has one, and everybody I know has an iPod except me. Everybody, Tim, my son's eight, and he said, Dad. There's no reason why a man should not have an iPod in 08. <laughs> you know. Well, she's right. I mean, he's absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But that is uh, very nice of you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. That is uh, great. And wow, I, wow, I, West. Enjoy yeah, that. Enjoy I'm, that. Put I'm, some listen. more tracks on there. Put put your white music on there. Yeah, you, you, know? can, you can download uh, radio shows on there, too, and movies, all kinds oh, of stuff. Yeah, on the plane, it's yeah. your best friend. Oh, yeah. Especially absolutely. when you're sitting next to a, a, a fat chatty guy <laughs> <laughs> from Pacoima. Yeah, but that that happens in first class? Oh, yeah. Really? As, as a matter of fact, there's some fat people with money, Tim. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and they chat, huh? Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim, about sit-ups and, and, oh, and really? bizarre non-sequiturs you wouldn't even imagine. Yeah. Have you noticed that when you get on a plane in in the evening, you're taking an all-night flight, mm-hmm. that everybody on the plane has like your sense of humor? But you get on a morning <laughs> flight, man, and they laugh at the funkiest, uh, dumbest crap ever, you know? Uh, you know, like a wait, a stewardess will say, uh, would you like a pillow? He goes, yeah, but I'll take a blanket in two if you don't mind. You know, everyone, <laughs> it's like, what the Christ? Where was the joke there, gang? I bet there's some people in their cars right now saying, or, or watching the internet, listening at home, thinking like, I never had that experience. <laughs> ne- never heard that yeah. kind of humor oh, yeah. on my morning, flight. Morning humor is uh, different than evening humor. Absolutely. It, it just seems like people are always angry and on those morning flights well morning flights are filled with guys who are morning people mm-hmm. and they get on those flights in new york and they're up you know they're mm-hmm. reading that paper they're having the breakfast and they're moving oh, yeah. okay you know you're not doing that at 6 a.m yeah and, and and when i'm there since i'm not a part of that culture i'm angry right oh, yeah, i, I yeah, think right. i project my anger to everyone else but really these men this is what they do and they're very happy <laughs> right. you know <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of uh, movies, with my uh, brand new iPod here, I went to see Kung Fu Panda with my uh, with my daughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I, my dad went. Really. And my uh, my sister went, and my niece went Did as well. You go to the Magic Johnson Theater and support my boy. Um, we didn't. Oh, we uh, went uh, to um, uh, a theater in the in the the Valley. The uh, what is it called? The Galleria. Oh, the new one. The arc light out there. The the the, the rebuilt arc light. Yeah. So I haven't gone to a movie in a while, and I'll tell you how long it's been since I've been to a movie. <laughs> I, I pull up at, to see the 4 o'clock show with my daughter, mm-hmm. and you know, I park the car, I go up there, and the guy says, um, first of all, I go in the door, and nobody takes my ticket. Nobody's, nobody's outside buying tickets. You have to buy tickets inside. 
Mm-hmm. I, I, I was used to a theater where you buy tickets outside, and then you go in. Oh, yeah. Okay. That doesn't happen anymore. You know, they let you go in and purchase their popcorn and leave now. So they, they have a they whole do? new game going on. Because hey, keep in mind, with the flood in Iowa right. and the prices of corn, they want you to come in because in about a month, popcorn will be $200. <laughs> yeah, you know, right. so, come on, you, know, you don't have to buy nothing. Just get some corn and leave. <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to be crazy. Well, I had, uh, I walk in there, and, I, and the guy says to me, I say, he said, what movie would you like to see? And I, I'm with my daughter, and... I'm like, well, uh, uh, Kung Fu uh, Panda. And she's only two and a half. Mm-hmm. And I'm uh, 45, so you figure it out the yeah, math, right? The math, okay. $20.50. Mm. So what? $20 and what? This is a four o'clock show. <laughs> yeah, they used to have an early bird price. Yes. Like $4. Yeah. And the kids are free. Yeah. $20.50. And he, said, he says to me, he goes, where do you want to sit? And I said, well, I'll find my own seat. He said, no, no, no this is assigned seating. Oh, no. I said, are you, are you, are you crazy? What I don't is know this, Wicked? <laughs> you know? <laughs> is, the, yeah. is, is, is Tina going to have a wedding up in this? I'm not buying Laker uh, tickets here. Yeah. I want, uh, you know, just, uh, I'll find my own seats in there. But $20.50, I thought was a lot for a four o'clock show with one man and one two and a half year old daughter. Yeah, she should ride free. Man. She should ride free because she <laughs> sat on my lap the whole time. Anyway, <sighs> anyway, she loved this movie. And I, I don't I don't like animation movies that much. Um, I, 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 you know, some of the Shrek stuff is pretty good. How about Family Guy? Family Guy is good, but I mean, like the the movies in animation, you know, okay. the ones that take so long to do, and everything yeah. look has to look perfect and all that stuff. And I don't find them that amusing. But this movie, Kung Fu Panda, is one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. Whoa! Yeah, it really is terrific. Now, now for those who aren't watching the webcast. He looks sincere because <laughs> sometimes there's a there, there's a smile of sarcasm. Right. And I know some other stuff is coming, yes. but you seem like you like this. absolutely right. Now, uh, by the way, Arsenio mentioned this, and I failed to do this. This is live on the internet right now. So if you go to nine seven one freefm dot com, that's nine seven one freefm dot com. You can see Arsenio. Dressed up in his uh, green shirt. Well, well, Father's Day watch. I had a green. Wow, look my, at my that. My son gave me a, a big, uh, this is a big ass watch. It is a big I, I ass watch. I think I'd be fair to say that. Uh, it has a green, that's ostrich or alligator or something very ethnic. Um, uh, and, and I had to wear green to match this day yeah. and watch. Now you have a green ring on as well. Uh <laughs> you, you had to point that out, didn't you? <laughs> well, they're going to see it on these. And You're green not even shoes. wearing your wedding ring. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. You and are, green where's, gap where's on your the, hat. Where, and I believe, there it is. Those are our Arsenio shoes. I hope and, you can see And, and by the way, I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And green glasses, I believe. Green tinted well, glasses. you know. It's, You're going for it. And my pimp hand is very and I don't strong. Wanna, I don't want to speak out of school because he has headphones on, but... <laughs> I believe there's a the green earring. Uh, you know what? You just know me. <laughs> you just bet that there'll be. Look, check, check. There he is. Yo, there my, it my is. My pimp hand look is that, slapping man. the world right now. Would you, emeralds? Look at that. It's beautiful. You go, dog. Uh, anyway, so go to nine seven one freefm dot com right now and check us out. We're live on the internet. Uh, you can see Arsenio Hall, and we'll be doing this show from eight or right about now. I mean, uh, we started at eight o'clock until eleven o'clock at night. So, again, 971freefm.com. Scroll down, and you'll see a picture of us. Click on that, and uh, you'll in, uh, enjoy the uh, video. That, that might have been a Freudian. Did you say dot, dot com? Con, yeah. Oh, I thought you said Kong. Because, oh, Kong, uh, no. You know, um, well, actually, that, that wouldn't make sense either, because I think what I was thinking about is uh, the Hulk. Oh, I, the right. Yeah, the Hulk. Hulk. Have you number, seen that? No, I've not seen it. But I met the guy that did the uh, special effects for it. The number one movie. Mm-hmm. Last weekend. Did you see it? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. you got to take your uh, kid to see this thing. Really? The Incredible Hulk made $55 million on their opening weekend. Now, Kung Fu Panda came in second. It was only uh, It's only been out for two weeks, and it's already made $117 million in wow. two weeks. And, and $117 million, ironically, is the same number um, that Ed McMahon's wife spent <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in December. Yeah, that, that's unbelievable. And I guess <laughs> she's, she's the reason he's got to uh, leave the house. Huh? Yeah. See, we've been tipping around it for a couple of weeks, but the reality is it's this is there. what happened. Some chick put Ed in the pole house. Okay, oh, we've been okay. talking about, well, he had so many shows and his house wasn't paid for and what? And he, his, he broke his neck and his, he had, his house had mold and everybody's tipping around. Right. You know, this it's her. is this hoe. <laughs> this is <home. laughs> doing something that's very familiar in this town. Spending that dough, yes, man. Yes, indeed. You got to watch him. 
They will uh, spend you right See, out you, of your, you have a good right woman. out of Beverly Hills. You have a good woman. When you read an Ed McMahon article, you have to sit and, and say, "God, you sent a good woman to my house." I abso- you're absolutely right. My my wife the other day uh, wore a brand new shirt, and I said, "Hey, where'd you get that?" And she said, "I got it at uh, Target." I said, wow. "Really? You bought it at the Target?" And I felt bad that you know that she's like you know buying clothes at Target, but she looked good and she yeah. liked it and. Save me a few bucks? What the hell? The, the additional money you get for the webcast <laughs> should, should buy. I hope you see something in your check, by the way. <laughs> we, we, have our own, of we have our own personal little <laughs> private jokes that, that we tell every now and then. Just, just where we make each other laugh. <laughs> you know. But, hey, can I tell you something? This is the difference in your wife and my ex. My ex bought me a shirt that cost $7,000. Are you kidding with me? With my money. What she bought with my she bought me a shirt with my money. And, Holy crap! Hey, where'd she get the shirt? It well, um, we were traveling, and she bought this shirt that it, there were three of them, I guess, and um, total yeah three total. Like I care, right? You know, hey, a Quicksilver where they make seven thousand of them, I'm right. fine with that, right? And if you pay seven thousand dollars for 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 a red shirt out of my bank account, I need. I need a BJ from the shirt. I need the shirt to. I need the shirt to like lick my nipple or something. <laughs> right. uh, seven. Th- can I say? Can I say the N word? I, well, I think you can. I don't know. Yeah. Can I say either of them? Yeah. Uh, if you nipples. call Jack Silver one, I think you can. You can say. You can say <laughs> nipples, right? Oh, that word. Yeah. yeah. That was easy. Jack Silver, you black nipple, you. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna uh, get back to that, but first, I got a joke for you. Oh, okay. A uh, guy walks into a, uh, a whorehouse and he has a thousand dollars cash on him. Mm-hmm. And he says to the madam, I'd like the ugliest woman to give me the worst sex ever. And she's like, what? With a thousand bucks, I'll give you my hottest chick with the best sex ever. He said, no, 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 no. He said, I'm homesick, not horny. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that's, you see, Sam's laughing all the yeah, way to West Hollywood. Sam, we love that. And we one. heard it. And, uh, hey, Sam. I can't remember. Uh, Robbie Fox told me that today, and I think he heard it from Andy Breckman, but he's not sure if Andy wrote it or not. I don't know who wrote it, but I'd like to give credit to him. Robbie's funny. Him. Rob- hey, Jay Leno told me a joke. Oh, yeah? Kid walks in, and uh, guy's making love to the mom. You know, the mom is facing out of the window and the dad's behind her and they're making that kind of love and, and they're going at it. and It looks kind of rough and violent. And uh, the next day, the father walks into the kid's room after school about four o'clock and the kid is behind grandma. Oh, and boy. the kid is making love to grandma and pulling her hair and, and, and saying things to it like, you my grandma, you my grandma, <laughs> you know. And uh, the father said, what are you doing? He said, oh, it's not so funny when it's your mama, huh? <laughs> 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 I don't know if Jay wrote that, but he killed me with it. And you oh, can imagine, great. in person, he tells it different. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I imagine. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah the, the, physic, the physicality. Oh, oh right. yeah. He's, he's good at it. Yeah, right. so this kid. <laughs> well, thank God you won't see that you'll hear that joke in, uh, in Kung Fu Panda. But mm-hmm. now the happening is out. I don't know what that is. Uh, Fox movie, I guess it's made a uh, ton of dough. And uh, don't mess with Zohan. And I saw that. Is it any good? You know, I, I'd watch Adam Sandler in a Dixie cup. You know, he's, he's a funny guy. I enjoyed it. I, uh, I, I have you watched <laughs> <Can> you, <do laughs> that? you know what? Sometime when I interrupt you with something, I regret it. And I, I, you should just let him keep on reading. What you interjected was not necessary. Go on. Keep going. <laughs> have you seen him do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not going to spread no rumors. Uh, they're but. running out the top five is Indiana Jones. But considering it's, uh, it's $20.50, for a grown man and his two-year-old daughter to go to the movies, we have to rely on people who have seen these movies out there. Is there anything else worth seeing out there? Mm. All right, here are the uh, phone numbers. I don't rely on critics anymore. I think that most of the studios have bought these critics off, or the critics have become too jaded, they're too angry. They all want to do something else. I mean, nobody's ever, nobody ever grew up and, and said to themselves, you know, like in third, fourth, fifth grade, I'd like to be a movie critic when I grow up. Yeah. They all want to be writers or they want to be, you know, actors. And they sort of fell back after some of their dreams blew up. They fell back into the TV critic and movie critic business. See, I, I was shocked. I interviewed Roger Ebert once and he started talking about writing in his early career. I think he wrote one of the Valley of the Dolls type movies. Yeah, I think you know? he did, yeah. Yeah, and, and it, I, I never knew that. So I kind of found him more credible then because, oh, at least you wrote films. Some of these guys, where they started like PR or uh, or they were grips. Right. You know, I, I mean, it, it's nice to know at least he wrote. But you know what would be nice? If, if some of these guys, like Tom Hanks mm-hmm. or Spielberg, 
Um, Eddie or, Griffin. Yeah, or Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Some of these guys who've made so much money where they can piss people off in town oh, yeah. and they become movie critics. I think that'd be a huge show. I like that. You know? But but they're, they'll are piss too many people off. They can't, you know, Eddie Murphy can't do a movie with a guy and then two weeks later trash him for another movie he's done. Well, maybe we couldn't get the top shelf guys, but would it be an interesting concept if it was just actors? I mean, kind of people we know, like, like if Ed Asner. Or my dad. And, get my dad to sit down and look at a movie and tell us what he, what he thinks. I would, I would I watch that. I think you get an honest answer. I would him. watch that. Yeah, I have we could have too. TV people do silver screen people. Right, like TV yeah. people cr- critiquing silver screen people. There you go. But I think my dad would be too kind because he is to everybody in the business. He'd say he loves everything. Uh, Speed Racer was his favorite movie. Oh. Susan Sarandon, an unbelievable job. Joe Silver, right now, his nipples are hard. Just, just hearing that your dad liked Speed Racer. <laughs> no, I mean, I, he probably would say that. <laughs> um, but anyway, folks, is there anything else out there right now worth seeing? Because if I'm going to spend twenty bucks to go to the movies, uh, it's not like the old days where you spend four or five bucks. If you didn't like it, well, you're out four bucks. But now with gas prices, you got to save every every penny you have. And I honest to God, I think that people out there who are uh, just the average day blue collar workers, you're going to and from your job, you're working your ass off, you take the family to the movies on weekends, or perhaps you slide out with a buddy and see the uh, the movies. Anything out there for your dollar worth watching this weekend? Five two zero ninety seven one zero. And triple eight five two zero ninety seven one zero. Now I, there's a um, um, a site out there, and it's called the Movie Times. It's the dash movie dash times dot com, and they've put together a list of all the movies that some of the top actors have done, and how much money they've made in these movies. And if you take, for instance, uh, Ben Affleck, I'm going to have, have you guess right here. How many movies do you think Ben Affleck has done that have made over? One hundred million dollars, and I'll tell you how wow. many he's made. With Ben, I, how many has he made total? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight major movies. You know, Ben um, is a guy we like. Women love to look at him, and uh, he started off very strong. But I got a feeling the answer is going to be like two, six. Wow. Yeah, it's very start, good. Ben it started with uh, Goodwill Hunting, uh-huh. uh, Armageddon. Uh, mm. That one made two hundred million dollars. See, but now, now, was that his movie? No, nah, but he was in it. That's Shakespeare- like saying Car Wash belonged to Franklin Ajayi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Shakespeare in Love. <laughs> uh, what else did he do here? Pearl Harbor. What's the one he did with his ex-wife uh, when he was below? What was that movie? Not so good. What Uh-oh. was that? Geely. Geely. Yeah, uh, six million dollars. Below J Lo, go. <laughs> Geely, man. Uh, but anyway, so if you look at this, if you look at this uh, site. It's the movie times, uh, and you look up actors. Let's look up your movie here. I mean, your oh, your your no, your yeah. guy here. Let's uh, Eddie <laughs> Murphy. Oh, okay. you see, I, was, I thought you meant RuPaul. No, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> All right, let's look up Eddie Murphy here. Eddie Murphy has made thirty three major movies. <laughs> How many movies have that, made? By over the way, that wasn't million. Eddie. That was Yakov. Oh, that was very, Yakov? Very obscure reference, but that right? you know Yakov laughed like that before Eddie did. Really? Uh, uh, what the country? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, uh. <laughs> how about, how, about uh, how much have, of, of Yakov's act has, has Eddie <laughs> stolen over the years? Is it a significant I, portion? I think there was a reference to Brewster's Millions that got laughs <laughs> one time, and it was actually Yakov's joke. All right, here's... Okay, uh, I'm, being, I'm being too obscure. All of a sudden, only Dennis Miller's listening. No, here's, and, here's a, a clip of uh, Eddie Murphy uh, doing his uh, comedy act. Here we okay. go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Yakov Smirnov. I am comedian from Russia. Does sound like Eddie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, enough with this act. Wait, enough with that. Play the um, Yakov doing um foo foo. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Yeah, it is. The, All right, uh, Eddie Murphy's made thirty three major movies. How many have made uh, over a hundred million dollars? Wow. You know, I saw him in a USA Today article where they were talking about the top box office guys, and it seems like he was very successful. Like, like it was like. More than fifty percent of his movies have made over a hundred million. Is, was Close. that right? Thirteen yeah. out of thirty-three. That is a, a, a terrific average, by the way. And uh, you know, some of the movies that have made that kind of money: uh, uh, Shrek the Third, uh, Daddy Daycare, and of course, uh, Doctor Doolittle. Mm. And the Nutty Professor. Wait, can I, can I tell you a quick Nutty Professor antidote? Doctor Doolittle too, too. Uh, nut, nut, nutty. Do nutty you, Professor. One hundred twenty-eight you know, million dollars. Check this out, Tim. He had to audition. What? He wanted to do it. He had talked to Jerry Lewis about being a creative consultant. They didn't want him to do it. 
Is that right? And then they said, Jesus well, Christ. maybe you could do it and we can put other comedians around you to help the project work. You know, it was that point where people were starting to lose faith in him because he had right. a couple bad ones. When the reality is some of Eddie's bad ones are in the top ten of the movies that year. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I remember one time he had Beverly Hills Cop. It was number one. Golden Child was number five. It was bad for him, but it was only based on his personal best type right. evaluation. Now, yeah. now, Beverly Hills Cop made $234 million in 1984 dollars. You have to double that mm, yeah. now. I mean, with the movie prices, it'd probably make uh, over uh, six or seven hundred million dollars. Uh, coming to America, one hundred twenty-eight million dollars. Congratulations! I, How much of that? I, uh, I, st- I still get a check for a nickel every now and then. Uh, <laughs> all right, what is worth uh, looking at out there? These prices are too high to take a shot. Uh, shot in the dark here. Five two zero ninety seven zero triple eight five two zero ninety seven one zero. We're mm-hmm. live on the internet. Go to nine seven one freefm dot com. That's yep. nine seven one. FreeFM.com Bobby Brown. and click on the uh, audio and the video there. You can Bobby, watch it and look kick at it. Yeah. All right, it's Tim Conway Jr. and our Sydney Hall live on 97.1 Free FM. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is the Tim Conway Jr. Show live on 97.1 Free FM. Arsenio Hall is with us. And swelling nice in the background is the sound of Eddie Murphy. My girl loves to party all the time, which is why we got a divorce. All right. <laughs> party all the time. Ugh! I like to make that noise. I, I don't have gas or anything, but ugh! It's a very soulful... And you also made that noise when you did have gas? Uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know I mean? Ugh! <laughs> well, actually, it's, it has a little moment in the middle there that's different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but James Brown used to sound like uh, he had gas problems. Oh, yeah, His right. His best records sounded like there was gas in the studio. I think that's why people liked it. Yeah. The guy was had worse gas than they do. You know? <laughs> All right, folks, we're live on the Internet right now. If you go to 971freefm.com, 971freefm.com. And click on our picture. You can see a live shot of the studio. In We're in the studio right now. Arsenio Hall is uh, sitting here. G- Gina He's the guy me, in all green. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Gina, Gina was just telling me that uh, there are like three people watching on the web, and is one right? is Al Gore. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> so that, that counts for Yeah, he thought we were, a, we were doing a, an all green show here. All right. The, uh, <laughs> it, is, it is a... Uh, a hellish time in the in the economy right now. You don't want to blow twenty bucks on a movie that sucks. Anything out there worth seeing other than what I went to see the uh, last weekend, which is uh, that uh, panda movie, uh, Kung Fu Panda. One of the best movies I've seen in my life. It really is. Jack Black to me is a superstar. Oh, he's talented. Uh, yeah, I would see anything that that guy's in, and he's versatile. He does a lot. Very natural. He, he's a musician. He's an actor. Right. I love him. The only disappointment you're going to see Uh-oh. in in Panda, uh-huh. in Kung Fu Panda, is all of the actors are terrific. They're all sensational, with the exception of Angelina Jolie, who plays the tiger. It looks like it sounds like she's reading the lines off of a script, and nobody's giving her any direction, or she's not taking any direction, and everybody mm. else is acting circles around this lady. So when you hear in the, an animated project, Tim, you perceived all you, you get all that. Oh yeah, go see the movie, and when the tiger talks, you're like, "What the Christ? Who is this?" Oh, yeah, my even my 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 daughter's like, uh, you know, I don't want that the tiger toy from McDonald's. She can't act. <laughs> John Voight will never call her now. All right, let's talk to uh, Richard in North Hills on ninety seven point one Free FM. How are you, dude? Hey guys, what's up? All right. Hey. Hey, I want to say um, the Hulk was really awesome. I seen that this weekend, and uh, yeah, that was really cool. The special effects are pretty good, huh? Uh, the whole entire movie in general. I mean, the plot and everything, the graphics. Uh, it's, it was a way uh, different uh, thing than part one. Wait, so it's much better than the first one? Yeah. Well, did the first one do anything? Was the first one popular? No, the first one's kind of. Uh, That's you know. a tough sell to Hollywood. The first one doesn't do well, and you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna make the second one." Well, well it wasn't a sequel; it was a remake of a movie they made six years ago. Oh. Ah, that's now, still now, a tough the, sell. The caller, how old is the caller? Yeah, how old are you, dude? Uh, twenty-four. See, he oh, don't okay. remember Bill Bixby. No, no, you, no, you bet. Uh, yeah, doesn't at all. Yeah, the yeah, Incredible Hulk was actually on television. Oh yeah, those yeah. effects were uh, Target, <laughs> very Walmart kind of effects. <laughs> hey, Richard, when you go to the movies. And you want to see what's playing. How do you decide what theater to go to and what time and everything? How do you get the information? 
Uh, well, I have a pretty good one by my house, so I just usually go to that. But the one that you went to, the arc light. No, no, no. Much, he no. missed the question. You got to yeah, get, well, do that when, question. When you're again. at home and you <laughs> try to figure out what movie's playing where and what time, how do you figure that out? Uh, just go to movies.com and then, uh, you know, whatever right. movie I want to see. And Very good. Here. All right, thanks, buddy. Yeah, it has. they have made it, made it uh, much easier to see movies. Yeah, uh, you go to the internet, buy your tickets. See where I'm at. You can print them at home. I'm I'm down with my man. Yeah, yeah, look at that movie phone. That's a movie I phone. Man. I that have it. I have it in too. my favorites under the little heart on AOL. Yeah, I have my favorites. I have movie phone. Is that right? And I have bigbooty.com, <laughs> which is something else totally. All right, uh, Sean in Michigan. You're on ninety-seven point one Free FM. How are you, sir? I'm great. Hey, I, first I want to say, uh, Arsenio, you're really pimping that green tonight. You're, you're looking good. <laughs> you can okay. see that all the way from Michigan, I, huh? I'm worried about this webcast. What part of, <laughs> what part of Michigan are you in? I'm near Kalamazoo in a little town called Otsego. Oh, yo! Yo, oh, you yeah. know what? I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you on your show. I, I know you haven't been able to talk since you started letting me come in. Um, <laughs> I was a magician when I was a kid, and once a year the magicians gather in a little town called Colon, Michigan, and, and this is not a joke, Tim. It, wow. You know, and there's no, you know, there, right. there, well, there's no sphincter, Michigan. Colon, Michigan, a real town. Um, we had a magic convention there, Abbott's Magic Company, and it was near Battle Creek. A- am, am I near your area? Somewhere. I'm just, but that's probably about a 30-minute drive from here. Ah. ah. Yes. Do you know where the, where the magic uh, shop is in Colon, Michigan? Uh, I think that's closed down now. <laughs> you know, if if you were ever in Colon, Michigan, uh-huh. when you were there with all your other magic buddies, uh, I was hanging out with as a child. I hung out with Blackstone Junior. Okay, well, if you were there with Blackstone <laughs> Junior, right, and a crime was committed, yes, and you didn't do it, <laughs> but Blackstone said you did it, you would be fingered in Colon. Absolutely. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh. All right. So, what do you got? What movies uh, worth uh, seeing here, buddy? I'm just going to have to go with Prince Caspian, only because it's something that you can take your entire family to, and it's uh, you know, a rewarding experience. It's a notch up from the, the, uh, the first one, Lion, Witch, Witch, and the Wardrobe. Much better film. The ending's a bit intense for younger kids, but I would definitely say that'd be the one I would take the family to see. And that's in theaters now? Yes. Mm. By the way, our callers are very good. Did you hear that? Yeah, they're very intelligent, even uh, the ones from uh, Michigan, man. Hey, how, how often do you listen to this show from Michigan? Uh, well, uh, this is actually the first time I've, I've listened to your show. How did you hear about the show? Uh, I'm actually, I logged into stickcam.com, and it's being broadcast on there. Oh, on stickcam, yeah. S-T-I-C-K-A-M, I believe. Hey, man, yeah. CBS got to give me more money, man. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got all oh, kinds of stuff I'm going sorry. on. You're talking about the Chronicles of Narnia, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't put that together. Prince Caspian is part two of that. Of that. Ah, period. I see. Okay. All right. I just looked that up. All right, buddy. You're a big stud. We're going to give you a family four pack of tickets. Great. Great. To Thank see, you. Uh, uh, now, cheap- now, why did you laugh? Why, <laughs> why did you laugh? Because he's got to come out here to use him. <laughs> uh, Chivas USA battle the New York Red Bulls at the Home Depot Center June 28th. Can you make it? Wait, uh, yeah, I, I can try. Wait, time out. We don't have anything <laughs> that we can send hey, nationally. This guy's a first time listener. We got to reward the man. Like we we don't have like like a uh, 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 something. What, what's uh, White how about Castle? An, how about have... an off- autograph of uh, Arsenio Hall? Oh, oh right, that right. would be awesome. Right, yeah. we'll give you that or, instead. Or, or a starring role in Harlem Nights too. Right on. Wow. We got to send him a, a, a third shift hat or something. Yeah, maybe we'll give him some uh, John and Jeff. Gear. Get, get his address. We will send him something that he can use in the midway. Yeah, you enjoy yourself. We don't. We don't have those those things that send you to Chuck E. Cheese. Or... Uh, yeah, I think we used to have Chuck E. Cheese yeah. stuff. Yeah, because that's national, right? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, Chuck, yeah. E. Chuck E. Cheese is great. Or is it Dave and Buster's? Oh, elsewhere? Dave and Buster's national too. Yeah, D- Dave and Buster's for adults. Chuck E. Cheese for uh, you know kids like uh, you and me. Oh, wait, my son said he wanted to go to Dave and Buster's. Yeah, that's for yeah. He's getting to that age, you know, seven, oh. eight years old. Yeah, it's close to forty five, uh, fifty. <laughs> well, I think he's tired of uh, Chuck E. Cheese by now. Yeah, you know, yeah. he's burned out. Hey, can I well, quick, spend a million dollars worth of uh, coin tokens? Tim, really quick question: Hooters, right? I notice how they market it. They show families. Do you take? Do you really in the real world? Do you take a ten year old, an eight year old to Hooters? I don't anymore now that my daughter speaks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, she's been though. Oh yeah, my daughter. She was like, she was still in. The, she was like four months old when she went. I know she went to the oh, race. Mama. She went to the racetrack while she still had placenta on her feet. <laughs> <laughs> she's a hootette. No, oh. but she's a, yeah. She's been to the racetrack. She's been to Hooters. 
Uh, she's not been to the fully nude clubs yet, so everybody calm down. I'm not a complete... I like some rockets. I know you do, baby. I'm not a complete degenerate. All right, folks, uh, the movies that are out right now are the uh, whole Kung Fu Panda, The Happening, uh, You Don't Mess with the Zohan, Indiana Jones, and Sex in the City. That uh, rounds out about the top six or so. What's worth seeing since tickets are so expensive? 520-9710 and 888-520-9710. Don't forget our email address. You can email us if you like. Uh, it is Conway Show. Can they email me? Sure. <laughs> what do Conway I Conway Show. What we'll, do I we'll, send mine it. Up at? we'll send it to you. <laughs> Conway. I don't want you. No, no, no. You're not reading my email and no. sending it to me. Conway Show at gmail.com. And if it's uh, not too nasty, we'll forward it to <laughs> hey, everybody. Y'all don't send me nothing to him. Conway That's Show personal. at gmail.com. And don't forget, we are live on the internet right now. If you go to 971freefm.com and then click on the picture, you can see a live shot a live action shot of Arsenio Hall. You know, Tim, I never did this when we were just on radio. This thing right here. <laughs> right. <laughs> never never did that. But now that we're on uh, video or on the internet, you're all over like the place. I feel like I have to be visual. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, thanks to stickcam.com. S-T-I-C-K-A-M. It is the Tim Conway Jr. Show. Arsenio Hall's with us. We're live at 97.1 Free FM. Welcome back, everybody. It is the Tim Conway Jr. Show live at 97.1 Free FM. Arsenio Hall is with us. Yeah. What movies are out there that are really worth seeing because their tickets are so expensive, gas is expensive, food is expensive, you don't want to get a bum movie in you. Let's talk wait, to, uh, wait until the popcorn go up because of this Iowa flood, yeah. man. Corn is going to be off the chain. Martell in Los Angeles. You're at 97.1. How are you? Hey, what's up, Tim? All right. What's up with uh, what movie you uh, recommend here or don't recommend? Well, I don't have any good recommendations, but I'm going to tell you, do not go see the, uh, that one scary movie, what's it called? <laughs> uh, Friday the 13th? No, 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 no. The, uh, uh, Lohan, um, that scared the hell out of me. Uh, Halloween? The new one. Stop missing Baby me. Mama? Yeah, that's it. That's the new Kung movie. Fu Jason? Uh, <laughs> Son of Rambo? <laughs> <laughs> What movie, dude? <laughs> He's thinking about Lilies of the Field, I think. We got, we, we got until 11 festival. o'clock. We'll just hang with you. <laughs> he went to a festival and saw Lilies of the Field. Yeah. Yeah, you see, there's two scary movies, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, <laughs> Street King? <laughs> He's less prepared for this show than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have had me at home for a long time. I already forgot what movie I went to go see. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's only a quarter to nine, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll came sit on here hey. and wait for it. What movie was it? Uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, you you must be talking about Hancock. <laughs> hey, was it the Forgiven or something like that? No, that's Hancock. Not a scary movie. Is it Hancock? It's a scary <laughs> movie. Not not the, not the Strangers. The other one. Oh, the Grocer's Son. Hancock. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> scary. Dude. Love comes lately. The scary new movie. I just became a seven-year-old. Hancock. Yeah. <laughs> Hancock. All right, well, let's talk to uh, Derek Hancock. and Elisa Viejo. You're on with Martell. You want to give him any help here? Yeah, I think Martell's probably talking about the... Hancock. Uh, the Happening. Ah, oh. The Happening. It was... That's exactly what he meant. Anything but Happening. Not so Happening? Happen. That's cute. Horrible. That's cute. I'm, it's my... Uh, I have to tell everyone not to waste their money on this movie. All right. Very good. Thanks, buddy. How about Paul in Canada? You're on 97.1. Hi, Tim. How are you? Hey, buddy. Hey, Arsenio. Dog. What's going on? What, what, what part of Canada are you in? Um, Ontario, actually, just outside of Ottawa, which is a place called Kingston. Sure, You've you got exactly. great strip clubs up that way. Yeah. Oh, and then you know it. They take the bottoms off here in Canada. Yes, yeah. indeed, my brother. Yeah. i got to give another shout-out for Hulk 2. I went to see it tonight, and, uh, yeah, way better than the first one. A whole supporting cast of good actors, you know, actually A-rating actors, a couple cameos from Lou Ferrigno, a cameo from Bill Bigsby, and a really good ending at the, at the very ending, and uh, just a real good movie. So, yeah, Hulk 2, but they showed some trailers, and uh, Hellboy 2, 
and also Dark Knight, Batman 20 or whatever, 5 right. or 4, they look stellar as well. So don't we can't really call a, a good summertime blockbuster yet. It's still early. Hulk 2 right now, but Hellboy 2 coming out in July. Yeah, excellent. And, and also it, did Dark you, Knight are you well. Were you watching Stick Cam and that's how you heard about the show? You know it. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, well, thanks it's for, a great place. Thanks for coming on. Come hey, on thanks every for night. calling, man. We want you to see every night. You okay? got it, man. We'll try it every night. All right. Yeah. All right, thanks. I, I, ironically, for those watching the webcast, uh, I'm dressed like the Incredible Hulk, like the Hulk. took a poopy on a stool <laughs> <laughs> after whipping somebody's ass. <laughs> don't, don't I look like a, a big Hulk turd <laughs> or, or, or Magic Don Juan's pool boy? I'm not sure who I am, but, oh, it's, but it's nothing positive. It is nothing positive. It's Conway and the Hulk turd. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good marketing, actually. Oh, it? that's classic. People will tune in at least once to find out what the hell is going on. Uh, Eddie, you're on ninety seven point one Free FM. What's worth seeing Our out there, dude? Studio! <laughs> oh! I love when, loves my, that. when my family calls. I love it. What's going on, Arsenio? What's up, dude? Arsenio! <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, flavor doing did, it. Did that just take you back? Um. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, listen, uh, 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 Tim. How you doing, buddy? Good, thanks. How you doing? Good, man. Listen, Arsenio. Mm. Remember, nineteen eighty-eight Superfest at the Forum. Keith Sweat, The Deal, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and um, Tina Marie. I was so high, I didn't even know Tina Marie. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I remember that, man. That was With the everybody. day. I, I was sitting right square, next. Square, square biz. Hey, Eddie, you've called us before. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have, because uh, uh, Randy just found a tape of you calling us Uh-oh. before. And <laughs> I've got autism, too, and I'm loving it. Oh, <laughs> boom. All right, uh, let's talk to David in Los Angeles. You're on 97.1. What is up, man? Hey, man, what do you got out there? What's uh, worth seeing? All right, so Kung Fu Panda. Oh, it's yeah. a cartoon, but it's really, really good. Yeah, it is sensational. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. I saw it last weekend with my uh, my dad and my daughter. And <clears throat> is it your opinion, though, that that the uh, that the woman who plays the tiger, Angelina Jolie, is not as good as the other actors? Uh, I I didn't really even pay attention to her. I paid attention more to Jack Black. Normally, I uh, he I find him annoying. Oh, but is that right? I get I guess it's his face because since it was animated. I liked him. Yeah, Jack Black. I, you know, the people who did the animation for Kung Fu Panda. Well, he not only was animated, but he was a panda, right? Yeah, he <laughs> was a panda. <laughs> and yet they captured all of his, like, comic, comic like, facial features and physical comedy mm-hmm. uh, within that character. And that character, you know, was animated. It was unbelievable. I don't know who did the animation. I don't know who directed it. I don't know who wrote it or anything. You're not getting I'm, not, I'm like that kind of guy that goes, you know, and stays for the credits. But that is a great goddamn movie. <laughs> Tim, and I've never seen you so excited about it. I know. Something. Are I you can't getting some it. kind of envelope from Jack so. Black with money in it? I, so, I mean, so, come man. on. I've Gotta never seen you like this. this. I know, but you know what? I, ne- I hate movies. Yeah. And I hate going to movies. And when I see one that is sensational, that, you know, my daughter is two and a half and I can both enjoy at the same time, mm-hmm. that is uh, something different. Gotcha. gotcha. All right, Arsenio Hall is with us. He's the biggest stud in Hollywood, Please. according to Stop saying Arsenio my name, Hall. Man. During the uh, break, he'll tell you that. You make a brother blush. Stop saying my name. Gina Grad is going to do news at 9 o'clock. And a little preview for us, Bobby? Well, it's a bad day to be a Laker and a worse day to be a Pearl Blossom rescue horse. This and more <laughs> after the break. <laughs> I love that. Look at that. <laughs> There's a lot of comedians that are after that one. Well, <laughs> um, and uh, also, if you want to watch, uh, if you want to hear a great top 10 list. Right now, we're going to play the David Letterman's Top 10 list, the top 10 ways for the Mets to turn it around. Yes. They called the brother at 3 in the morning to fire him. You can't just fire a brother. you got to wake his ass up. 3 a.m., man. He was probably up, though, with that uh, sour stomach. They had probably been beaten by the Angels. No, they won. They beat the Angels. And then he gets the call. And then they say, you up? It's over. Are you up? (laughs) (laughs) You're going to be up for a while. (laughs) Looking for a job. Now you're really going to be up. All right, our city hall is with us. Uh, Don't forget, go to stickcam.com. You can check us out. S-T-I-C-K-A-M.com. But better yet, it's easy uh, also to go to our website, 971freefm.com. 971freefm.com. And you can click and watch us live. And we're uh, live right here on the uh, Internet. Tim Conway, Jr. and Arsenio Hall, live at 97.1 Free FM.